Bitch, he got gifts for everybody but his girl. If you want to go to the grocery store like this, it's a perfect look, period. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm basically gonna do like my go-to kind of like hot eye, smoky eye. I haven't really like gone off with my shadow as I used to. I feel like back then I was so like creative. Like I'm like, am I losing my creativity? So I'm doing like a dramatic smoky eye while I just sit here and answer some questions. I had you guys ask me questions on Instagram. And you know what? I really wanna bring back the makeup tutorials but make it more fun for you guys. And don't tell me it didn't post. Literally says uploading. Whatever you guys. I wanna go ahead and get started to chat with you guys a little bit and then we will load the questions. Girl, got my coffee. I love coffee. Mm-hmm. We love a coffee girl. Oh my God, I literally forgot to like address the elephant in the room. So I got my lips done the other day. So there's like slight bruising and I also got Botox, bitch. I haven't gotten like, first of all, I only got like Botox once before and it went like so fast. Like I didn't know, I think Botox goes away faster than like fillers. I don't even know how to act because it's like settling in and I don't know, my forehead just feels really funny and you kind of tell a little bit there's like random dots and my lip fillers, um, I think this is like my third time or fourth time, I'm not sure, but I don't like get it done often. I'm sure you guys were looking at me like, girl, what is wrong with your lips? So, okay, I'm gonna try to do the look that I did the other day, but with just different shadows, because I can't find the other palette I used, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this palette. This is a Britney palette by uh, the Mariel Twins collection. So, I got my brows microbladed the other day, and the other day, what am I saying? You know what, doesn't film, don't know how to act. What's good? Hold on. I hate when I like put, cause I already have primer or concealer on my lid. I hate when it wrinkles. So, I got my brows microbladed literally like a few months ago and like right after the place went on lockdown. So when you get your brows microbladed, you know, they heal, they have to peel, it's like a whole process. And I did like, I literally recorded everything for you guys. I'm still gonna post it because it was a major transformation and it's like extremely life changing. I was supposed to go a second time. When she made my second appointment, um, you know, because we are living through a pandemic and all, for the second appointment, she was on lockdown. So that was canceled. And I did think, I'm like, you know what? Even though my appointment is like canceled, I'll just put my whole experience on YouTube and like just not put like my retouch, you know what I mean? But then I felt, I'm like, how am I gonna like, you know, promote this place and it's like on lockdown. Obviously, like if I'm recommending her, I would love if you guys like could check her out if you guys do wanna get your brows microbladed. So I'm like, there's no point in me posting this video right now if she's like on lockdown and nobody can literally get their brows done with her, you know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> just trying to see my brows. I have my my monitor like over here. I don't have like an actual like mirror mirror So if I'm looking over there a lot girl, by the way, I know I have my mirror like in back of me But the way my my film room is set up I have to be like in front of the window my film room is another topic I'll get to in a bit. So that was kind of felt like I didn't you know post a video yet She actually did um, get back in contact because I believe she's open again So we're gonna schedule another appointment to get my final touch-up and I actually I'm excited about this video because even though it was months ago you guys are gonna see like an overall like real review. Okay, so really quick, like how I like that smoky eye. So I really like hella drag it out, y'all. Like past your brow type of vibe. Trust me, if it's extreme, you can wipe it off. But yeah, let's talk about my beauty room, girl. There's so much I wanna do. I really want this room to be like a different personality. Kind of like come in here and just be excited to be in here. Already I feel like I'm here every morning getting ready. Out of the entire house, it's weird, but like I really like hanging out in here. I really, really do. It's just like my me time. I thrive in here. But this room, yeah, it's like really, really empty. There's just a lot I want to do with this room. I literally just brought like those flowers from downstairs. I'm like, girl, I gotta give this room some life. But I want to make this room like very colorful, very fun to be in, you know what I mean? I just want her to be different. Something I've never done with my beauty room. Very bright and just a whole different like personality. Okay, so I'm like just dragging the shadow like out. You know what I mean, girl? Dude, I watch sometimes my old videos. I'm like, I was so informative. If that's one thing like that I would compliment myself of my tutorials, like I was so detailed. It's just so crazy how you know, I feel like YouTube is always changing. Trends are always changing. And it's so crazy how just looking at old videos, I'm like, oh my God, 
back then, I really feel like, let's let's be real for a second. I really feel like back then it was so much easier to just pop out videos because you can think of so many different makeup looks. Valentine's would be around the corner, summer, spring, like any season, like you knew you were gonna be throwing out makeup tutorials, which you know what? I could bring it back. Like I know I could bring it back in a different, like more fun way, but it's just really like thinking, you know, what can I, what can I do where I could still bring the, the videos back, but make them more entertaining. You know what I mean? We love her. She's coming together, Miss Girl. She is coming together. If you guys have any ideas of what kind of videos we could do. I like to do like a story times. I feel like story times are kind of fun. Oh my God, it's so weird because since I got Botox, I'm trying to like lift my brows a little bit and it's almost like barely there So it's kind of weird trying to do my shadow. But you see I'm just like blowing the bitch out. Boom. Okay, you know what? I think it's time to pull up the questions, All right? What do you guys have for us? Hmm. Okay, we actually have a Valentine's Day question here. What is the worst Valentine's Day you've ever had? Okay, let's talk about when me and Brian broke up. You know what? Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Brianna palette. Both of their palettes are so bomb you guys. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna use her gold on the lid. But worst date, okay, so I feel like everybody has had a worst date, y'all. Or just like a bad day on Valentine's Day because I feel like a lot of people do spend it single, you know, just depending. I remember once me and Brian were fighting because, okay, first of all, my birthday is like a few days before Valentine's Day. I remember for our birthday, um, you know, the family's like showering you with the like, gifts and how do I say this? My my brother like gave me flowers. I don't know like what my parents got me, but like, you know, our family got us stuff for our birthday, right? And Brian pulls up, he pulls up late and he doesn't pull up with a gift. Okay, so let me, let me backtrack a little bit because it's not gonna make any sense. So a few months after, before that on Christmas, I remember that Christmas he hadn't got me anything, right? And I'm not like expecting anything, but I remember he got his best friend a gift. He, Bitch, he got gifts for everybody but his girl. I just thought that was really weird. I was like, he is, like, what am I to him? Like, he got his best friend something, he got his family something, but he didn't get his girl anything. So I was upset. This was like years ago, y'all. I was like, you know what? Like, he probably didn't have time, you know? I don't know. So our birthday comes around, because our birthday is like literally this month. So it was like just a couple months after Christmas. So I let that go, and our birthday comes around, and he pulls up with nothing mind you my brother got us flowers my parents got us a cake like we were our family got us stuff you know what i mean and the point is we like broke up because i was like this is ridiculous like he's getting way too comfortable he's not getting me gifts he didn't give me gifts for, a gift for christmas he didn't give me a gift for my birthday i don't expect anything but like at the same time, like when it becomes like repetitive, I think like that that's weird, you know? I told all my friends, like I was telling them, like he didn't get me a gift for my birthday, he didn't get me a gift for Christmas, but he got his best friend a gift and we broke up, whatever. So uh, Valentine's came around and it was like the worst day ever because I was like, I literally just like broke up with the guy I've been with for years, okay? I think the night before we had like Galentine's Day and I was so sad, I'm like, <sighs> Oh my god, for once in a, like a while, I'm gonna be single for Valentine's Day because we were together for years. I was like, oh my god, like I can't believe I'm gonna be like single for Valentine's Day. I was so devastated. Not even the whole being single for Valentine's Day. I think like we had just been together for such a long time and then Valentine's Day coming, it was just like, you know. So I was, it was like my worst Valentine's Day ever. Um, I remember that night, this is when me and Karina lived in our first apartment. I remember I heard knocking and I was like, Who's here? I opened the door, pulled up with like a teddy bear, flowers, chocolates, balloons, all of it. And we never broke up since then. Literally, isn't that funny? That's like, oh, I like that day was really sad. Cause I, before that, like I didn't really have like serious relationships. So that was the first time I was really heartbroken on Valentine's day. I think like even that day I didn't forgive him. <laughs> like it took me a while. And ever since then like he didn't bust that. But like I had to break up with him for him to realize like dude like this is weird. I don't expect to be showered in gifts but like that becomes repetitive. I'm really questioning and everything. Girl I'm gonna grab a, a black shadow from another palette real quick. I'm gonna just do like a smoky little moment. I just use like a, like a flat brush like this. I just 
to extend her out and I do like the smoky eye. And if it comes out messy, girl, don't worry because we're going to clean it up with a wipe anyways. Oh, speaking of like what I got yesterday. So yesterday was actually Valentine's Day. I don't know when you're going to watch this, but he got me like a little monkey um, because Brian like ref always, has always, even before I met him, he's always referred to himself like a monkey. He's obsessed with monkeys. And so he got me a monkey. And then he also got me a cupcake, like a stuffed, cu um, like stuffed, I was going to say stuffed animal. Yeah. Not an animal, but like it's like, you know what I mean? But he would always call me his cupcake. <laughs> so he got me a cupcake and then he got me flowers, chocolates, and like a wine bottle. And I, it's not coming in till today, the day after Valentine's Day. I really hope he's not hearing me. I think he's really gonna like it. I ordered him. I think he's downstairs. I think I should be fine. Yano Brian loves his food, so I got him like a heart taco, which comes today, like in a few hours. So they are gonna be delivering that. My friend actually um, is the one that does the taco, so I hit her up. I was like, girl, and this was for yesterday. And I had so many orders. She was like, we're not doing it. We're not taking any more orders for today, but we can take one for tomorrow. I was like, okay, that's fine. I know he's gonna do like a mukbang with it or something, because he's been wanting to film a mukbang, and I feel like that's like the perfect video to do it. And I might just join his mukbang for him. I did tell him, I'm like, you might want to record this. He's like, is it a mukbang? Like something with a mukbang? I'm like, can't tell you nothing, but I'm excited. I'm excited for that. So we're gonna be eating some tacos. That black shadow is bomb. So I'm just gonna use like an angled brush, but I feel like the angled brush won't give it that like sultry, smoky eye. I only go in with an angled brush after to kind of intensify like towards the lash line. So I take like an angled brush like this, and then I go like on my lash line like that. So what's good? So y'all wanna know how to get that like sharp edge? I grab my makeup wipe and I'm just gonna go in like this and start really sharpening her up. You know how sometimes like it'll drag like all the way up, so I go from up to down too to really get that area that like dragged. But let me show you guys how I do my concealer, my concealer, my eyeliner like in. I hadn't done that cat eye in a minute. But when I did it, I was like, oh my God, I used to do this a lot to my eyes. It just makes the eye look so different. So I'm gonna put concealer right here just because I, I wanted to interfere like after I put foundation. I drag the black like in the inner corner, watch. I mean, I'm sure you guys know this already. I just bring her in like this. If you do wanna get, I guess, like a sharper look, you could use a liner, but I don't know. I'm really into like the brushes right now, like kind of like that just sultry, effortless, smoky look. So that's how I do my cat eye. So I recently had someone do my makeup for my birthday and they use these like really bomb lashes. I, I don't know the style, you guys. You know what? I started doing the cat eye actually after the makeup artist did it on me because I had requested like the cat eye look because I'm like, I haven't done that in a minute. And she did it on me and I was like, oh my God, I actually love how this looks. Like I forgot how obsessed I was. That was like my go-to back then. Like that little um, inner corner moment. I'm gonna pull up the questions while my lash dries because I forgot. Are you planning to get pregnant soon? So I always get asked this. I feel like people forget that I've been like trying. It's been over a year actually that I've been trying, like over a year. So Karina recommended I start taking progesterone pills because she thinks like my uterus is not holding up. At least that's what was her experience too. Um, she felt like her uterus was not holding up. So does that make any sense? So she thinks that's exactly what's going on with me. So I started taking progesterone pills um, last month. I recently just ended my period, but I was taking it before. I feel like my progesterone is really low. While I was on the pills, I started spotting like my period wanted to come and your period's not really supposed to come till you stop taking it. And I think I had skipped a day on accident. I don't know, I'm, I'm not like a doctor or anything obviously. But Karina told me that she thinks my uterus is really weak because it my period wanted to start already with like it's still in my system. You know what I mean? Who knows, but that's it to you guys. And then my sister did recommend also that like baby aspirin works. So I did start taking baby aspirin. You know what, I was taking it at the time I was uh, taking the progesterone. I'm kind of just going with the flow. I'm just like taking what Karina recommends because she's like my twin sister and she did have like a couple of miscarriages. So, you know, it, it just scares me. And if I can like try to prevent it and like really just take what she, what she tells me, I'm trying to, but who knows, honestly, like, what's going on exactly. All right, let's move on to the face. I noticed a lot of the time I do my makeup, I just kind of like go in with an oil and that's it. And recently that I've gotten my makeup done a couple times, I noticed they do all these steps and I'm like, 
why don't I do that? Because it makes a difference. I just think I'm so used to like just doing like half-ass things to my face now. This is like a blur, blurring primer. This is from Lancome. And I tried it the other day. I was like, oh my God. So just putting her like on my pores. My face was already like lathered in oil. But I just want to do this to my face and see if it works. My friend's like telling me already, she's like, girl, we should be there in like 30 minutes. I'm like, ah, I'm trying to hurry up. Okay. So I just like to use this NARS. This foundation is pretty bomb. This is a NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. I use the shade Fiji. But yeah, I got him tacos and I'm so excited because we haven't ate. <laughs> it's literally gonna be our breakfast. Freaking tacos, we love her. Do you and Karina talk as often as you used to? So obviously before we like lived together, but you know what's funny? I think just now like not living together, I'm always on FaceTime with her. It's so weird, but I feel like my bond has gotten closer with everyone else after I moved out, you know? I just think like I actually can like FaceTime them. Obviously living together, you don't like FaceTime them because well actually me and Karina hella FaceTime even when we live together. Cause she'd be like upstairs or whatever. But now, like yeah, every day, like me and Karina will be on FaceTime for hours for no f***ing reason. It could be silent for like 30 minutes, but we're on FaceTime. That's just our relationship. But I talk to her way more now, I think, especially with my mom. Like, I never was a kind to text my mom because like, like I said, I lived with her. But now, I'm always texting her. I'll send her like TikToks, like just random things that I guess I wouldn't do before. Like I really think I've gotten closer to them. Okay, so this question I actually get asked a lot. How are you feeling now that it's been a couple of months that you moved out? So it is gonna be a couple months already. I feel like I've gotten used to it already. Uh, people ask me, cause at first I really was homesick y'all. Like I had my moments where I would like cry and it wasn't as bad as like the first time I moved out um, with Karina that was like, girl. That was so different because it was literally our very first time. But now, I think I'm kind of used to it. Uh, I, it was sad, like I miss my room sometimes. It's just so weird, like I walk in there, it's empty. Not even actually empty, bitch. I haven't brought like all my dishes. That kitchen, nobody really uses it, I guess. So, <laughs> I have like stuff there still. I'm just glad that I could like walk in there and stuff still. Like it's not like a place I'm never gonna see again, you know what I mean? But I was sad. I visit my family a lot. At first I would get really sad like leaving the house because I felt like it was my home and I wanted to stay there. But obviously you guys know like I wanted to move out but it was very weird in the beginning, you know? It's like you get so excited to have your own place but then it like sinks in and you realize what it's really like living alone and you're like, oh my god, this is real life, you know? It's so different. I was really excited to decorate and stuff, but I guess there comes a moment where it does sink in and I'm like, oh my god, like we really are moved out. Like I know it would come to this moment where like people would want their privacy. I know that moment's gonna come like with, in general, the whole family separating one day to like all live alone. Because Karina still lives with like the family. My parents still, well my parents live with her. In a perfect world, you know, I would love to be neighbors with my parents. That is like the goal where I could be neighbors, I can walk to my mom's house, like if I want to. I remember, I mean, this was literally last week, I was like crying. I had a little moment. I just feel like I've always been really close to my parents, like really, really close. I can't even explain like the bond I have with my mom. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with a one size powder. I love this powder. It got like nublado out of nowhere, you guys. That's the only thing about uh, working with natural lighting. It's unpredictable. I'm just gonna set my face really fast. Um, I think my friend might almost be here already. She told me she was gonna be here literally like soon. Karen will be like surprising Brian with my face half baked. Dang, this sun is weird. No, and now it's coming back out. So for like the contour, we're just gonna use the Mario palette and we're just gonna like sculpt the cheeks out a little bit. I'm like not a fan of this lighting right now. <laughs> I feel like I forgot I'm like doing a QA and a right now too. I'm such a hot mess in this video, you guys. I'm sorry. Someone asked if I'm going lighter with my hair. I actually went lighter this time around. I feel like with every visit, I'm gonna be going lighter and lighter to be honest with you. I'm just scared of like burning my hair off. We're just taking it slowly, you know, and then I do a lot of K-tips too, so that helps. Someone also asked, how is Handsome doing? He's doing great. He's so close to us, honestly. Yeah, he misses the dog sometimes, and that's why we go so often, because obviously I miss my family, but he's doing good. As long as he's with us, he's happy, honestly. 
I think I have seen ones like, oh, just leave him with the other dogs. And I just would never because he's literally our baby. And even if that was the case, like, he would be so sad because we're literally everything to him. I wouldn't do it, like I said. Let me contour this nose really quick. I'm actually kind of going fast. I thought I was a little behind, but I think I'm catching up. Oh my God, you know what? That's another question. I don't know why people have been telling me if I got a nose job. I've never gotten a nose job, y'all, ever. I've, in fact, I've always liked my nose. I think it depends, like when I lose weight, it gets smaller. When I gain weight, it looks wider. But I've never gotten my nose done. I've never had a problem with my nose. I would never get a nose job. Like there would be no reason for me to. And I'm like, um, no, I have not. I think that would have been so obvious if I did. Maybe depending on certain filters I use. You know what though, like throughout my YouTube years, it's something I get asked like randomly, just depending. I've never had a problem with my nose. A lot of people are asking about like weight loss and stuff. So I had lost like some weight and people were noticing it. And I feel like I'm gaining some of it back, but I'm not letting myself like fully gain it back. <sighs> I've been obsessed with blush recently. So I'm gonna go off with a blush. You know what's funny? I stopped using highlighter till recently. I got my makeup done and I was like, oh my God, why did I stop using highlighter? It looks so pretty. So I guess it just depends how you apply it. So I'm gonna put highlighter on too. Ooh, we love love blush it's a blush from the marios love their blush i use a lot more this one but i like to mix in these both bitch you could tell i go in with this bronzer like this is a bomb ass little um set and then for highlighter i like to use the benefit cookie just a vibe i just i really like stopped using it but when she put the highlighter on me i was like oh my god it's actually a look just depending where you put it you know i feel like back then it was so trendy to put so much like it's not even about that it's, i think it's just putting it in the right spots to make it look like natural like the the highlighter is hitting you a certain way let's do the eyes i don't even think this liner is like black it looks more like a purple like a deep purple i don't know but you guys remember when i used to like smudge it on the lower lash line ah we love a tutorial oh but yeah you guys i need to chill like i feel like after i moved my weight just started fluctuating and even then like i wasn't doing anything crazy and not on a diet like i know i joke about it like oh my god i need to get on a diet but like i don't believe in diets y'all i really don't i've lost weight before like fast and i gained it back fast like i'd rather just do like lifestyle change i was just like eating at home more um eating smaller meals but eating more throughout the day and it was working out like literally i was eating anything just would try to stay away from like soda like the obvious like chips and stuff even then like if i was craving it i'll have some it's crazy because i was literally eating anything mole tortillas but I'm gonna go in with black. Actually, I should have done the black like after. So we want to smoke out the lower lash line. So I'm gonna take like a pencil. I need my pencil brushes. If you don't have a pencil brush, girl, or even a brush like this will do. You know what, I'm gonna use this brush. We'll go in with a dark brown and then we'll do the light brown under. And I just like blend her out. Oof, this is dark. Just to like, blend out those edges okay guys my friend just delivered the tacos it was like a little rushed because um i didn't know what i was doing i'm glad that's out the way but i'm gonna go in with another brush i'm gonna go in with a light brown just to soften up the darkness a little bit i feel like this other eye was like a hot mess i was like freaking out i don't know why i was like nervous like to surprise him with that the only thing about like freaking doing your eyes first you get like powder all over your lashes and all. All right, you guys, we're almost done with this look. I use the MOA lip liner by the Marios. You guys, literally like I use their collection all the time. I got a freaking pimple like right on my lip and it hurts so bad. Oh my God, I literally, it hurts just going over it. Finally, for the lipstick, we're gonna use What happened? It's like stuck on the lid. Oh my god, this is Karina. She's gonna be like, what? I feel like somebody closed it with it open. This is like creamy. Girl, this melted or something. Hold on. I need to figure out what color that is because I need to buy this. It is called Send Nudes. Oh, I need that lipstick. Girl, I'm obsessed with this look. It was so much fun getting ready with you guys. I should probably like answer a few more questions 
before I let you guys go because clearly I didn't answer a lot. Do you have any projects soon to be announced? You know what? We have a couple projects. There's one that might be like announcing soon and I'm excited. Do you cook or you still eat out and with your mom? When I was living with my parents, like my mom would cook a lot and it's funny because every time I go over, I'm like excited to eat her food. Now, although I'm not like the best cook, I still try to cook, but I for sure want to cook more. I do. It's just not like what she cooks and like sometimes I'm just craving like a real Mexican plate. But if you guys have not seen my parents like cooking channel, I'm gonna have that link down below because I really think they're helpful. And that's what I need to do. I actually need to like follow one of their videos. Like that's literally what I could do. Where is Peter? Oh my God, I miss Peter so much. Um, Peter was somebody that like, we literally, I mean, lived with him, lived with him at some point. So I feel like we were very, very close and I haven't really seen him. Um, we have a group chat with the whole family and yeah, I miss him. I feel like we don't um, see each other as, as often. We would always go to events together and stuff and we actually really haven't seen each other as often. Like we do text and stuff, but anytime we do see each other, it's like, like I'm telling you, I feel like Peter, um, it definitely became like more of a sibling bond. So I'm really close to Peter. I mean, even if we go months without seeing each other. Oh my God, somebody asked for a morning routine. You know what? I do want to do a morning routine, but there's just so much like, I feel like I still haven't completely settled in. Like I have, but I haven't. Cause like, I still want to decorate my beauty room. I want to decorate the office. I think I want to get the house organized more. And I also want to do a furnished house tour once we have like everything ready. Um, but you know, that takes time. Obviously I don't want to like rush it. I am going to go ahead and just, whoa. I'm gonna go ahead and change. All right, you guys, so that basically completes this look. It would have been perfect for Valentine's Day if I had posted this, um, but I think it's a great like night out look, or bitch, if you wanna go to the grocery store like this, it's a perfect look, period. But like I said, I apologize about the lighting, girl. I'm gonna have to start like filming during the day. Well, I was filming during the day, but like I feel like it's nublado, cause it's not even late right now. I just think right now, like during the winter, you guys know like sun comes whenever it wants to come. If you guys do recreate this look, please tag me. I would love to see your looks, girl. Tag me on Instagram so I can repost you on my stories. I do notice that like it's a little, like I need to clean her up a little bit right here. <sighs> Does anybody care? No. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I really, I think I'm gonna film another video. Like I just wanna like just talk to you guys because now that my makeup's done, I just wanna show it off. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next one.